audience, I have one request to speak. Mr. Keith Latham, did I pronounce that correctly, sir? <laughs> we, we, we have talked once or twice before. Uh, good, good morning, everybody. Uh, I wasn't aware of the fact that Mary was going to be here this morning, but the timing is perfect because uh, uh, I have been attending a number of her sessions as far as uh, doing the uh, – uh, work for uh, telling everybody about the uh, I-4 connector and the Southport connector, and uh, they've done an excellent job, uh, and the, uh, the audience has, has been very receptive to, to what they're hearing. Uh, the reason why I'm here this morning is I want to give you guys a heads up uh, that uh, in the case of the Southport connector, where you've got the uh, alignment going uh, between the Reedy Creek Bridge which is by Bravo there uh, in Point Siena, and the south part of the uh, uh, existing Point Siena Parkway. Uh, that's going to be a high-speed road, uh, a turnpike road, or, or one, of, one of your roads, uh, going through uh, a currently developed area of Point Siena. There's a lot of concern being expressed by people who have been to the meetings and heard about the meetings and whatnot about potential impacts on noise as far as the traffic going through there. Uh, maybe there's need for noise barriers and whatnot. Also on uh, uh, the fact that there'll be a toll road going through the center. Uh, there's misconceptions that in order to get the Publix, they're going to have to pay a toll, that in order to have to get out of Point Siena, they're going to have to pay a toll. Oh, that's a great uh, idea. Thank you for that well, idea. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, 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 my, my, my only point is, in, is, is that uh, I, I think when, when, when you, you do the, the meeting, particularly on the 21st, if you can have some more uh, visuals as far as what that might look like, uh, uh, as far as, I mean, I, I, I can conceive it in my own mind from talking to Mary there about it. Uh, there is part of that presentation. There is already a schematic of two lanes, the elevated lanes, two lanes. Yeah, but it doesn't show how that fits in. I mean, you're, you're really, if you, if you look at, at, at an aerial map of Point Siena, mm -hmm. you're threading the needle from the point in time where you get across that Reedy Creek Bridge until the time you get to the parkway because there's a lot of existing businesses on both sides yeah, there. I, that's a, it, your concern is legitimate. Um, uh, there are alternatives. One of them is to keep everything at ground level, which mm -hmm. I haven't quite figured out how that magic would occur. And the other is to elevate the express lanes down the center uh, and allow um, cross access at certain key intersections. Um, but the thing, the most important thing to remember is that First of all, you're elevating the road, which is almost like having a sound barrier because sound rises. Mm -hmm. uh, second of all, you're going to have two lanes on each side. Therefore, the people that are having businesses along there are automatically actually going to have better service because, A, there will be less traffic on the road, not more. Uh, B, there will be four lanes with, with traffic calming um, design in there so people will not be flying up that road and down that road like they're crazy people. Not that anybody would do that in Pointiana. And third um, – because it's going to be engineered today's safety standards. It's going to be a much better road than what they're dealing with right now. So I don't think they have a problem, but I think it's a probably a really good idea to make a, a better description of what's actually going to occur when the time comes. And that, 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 that was my mes message for, for, for speaking this morning, is I, I, I think it's important that, that from a public relations standpoint, the people understand what this is because there's no doubt we need the road. <laughs> you, you don't need noise barriers on uh, Cypress Parkway mm -hmm. for three reasons. A, we're not putting any more cars in there than already existed initially. Late, uh, eventually we will, but they'll be the elevated pass-through people. Uh, B, it's going to be a nice, smooth, properly designed road. And C, why the heck would you want a noise barrier in front of your building yeah. where people can't see your building? It, from a commerce standpoint, it would be the worst possible design for the sense by protecting the business people, the worst possible design. So elevating the road, I think, resolves all of those issues. I think that's, I think that's a message that needs to be brought to Point Siena, and uh, I'm, I, I think we need, need to bring and, – and, you you know, you articulated very well. Huh? Keith, Thank you. Keith, I was thinking of something else as well. Um, it's more than, more than likely – that road speed would slow up to about 55 through that congested area instead of 70. 40. 40. 40. But yeah. the, the expressway will be 65 or 70 years old. Sure. But the, the ground road. Yeah. The, no, I'm, I'm talking about the expressway that passes yeah. through just that section right there. Not likely. You don't think so? No. It'll be a 70 mile an hour design. Well, and I, I think, though, and if you look at the Point Siena Parkway traffic right now, for example, 
you were getting a lot more trucks using the Point Santa Parkway than I think we ever envisioned when we right. first talked about it. I mean, right. the cement trucks from the Semex plant have realized that that's a better way to get to Point Siena, uh than the other routes. And so I think there's a, a, a significant concern on the part of the people that the trucks going up the turnpike to get over to Lakeland are going to end up going through Point Siena that they don't go through today. So I, I, I think what, what Atlee just described is, is perfect, uh, but I think that's a message that you need to be prepared to give to the people of Point Siena. Uh, otherwise, you're going to end up with some people that don't understand what's going on. And right. You don't need people opposing you. <laughs> okay, thank you. And, thank you. and my compliments again to Mary. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Mary, thanks you also. All right, is there anybody else who would like to address the uh, board? Okay, seeing none, hear the audience time is.